Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be smoking the Macanoodle Cafe. Let me get some. Uh, let me bring it over here. Right there. Look at that beautiful, beautiful wrapper on that. Look at that. This is definitely a cigar up my alley. This is a Connecticut shade wrapper with a Dominican and Mexican filler. So it should be a nice light cigar, easy cigar, again, by the name Macanoodle Cafe. It's probably one of those that you have first thing in the morning. Uh, light one of these bad boys up with a uh, cup of coffee and you're starting your day off on a good ride. <laughs> Today I'm uh, doing a V-cut. Nice little V-cut right there. Um, time for the cold draw. Good draw. Mm. I'm getting like a fruit fruit flavor to it. It's oh, very okay. fruity. Very interesting. Like bubblegum. Mm, cool. Uh, I like that. <laughs> wow. Well, I've, well. Never, I've never had like a good cigar that tastes like bubblegum before. Okay. I've had shitty cigars that taste like bubblegum and then I'll <laughs> throw up for five minutes, but... I'm excited to try this this uh, this Macanoodle out. This is uh, we're off to a good start. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for the first puff and uh, the rest of the cigar. <laughs> Cheers. Again with the B cut, this Macanoodle Cafe. Time for the first puff. No, the bubble gum. It the bubble gum is gone. Interesting. Oh, yeah. It's interesting how. But if you could make a creamy coffee into like a cake and then bite into it, this is exactly how this tastes. Jeez, man! Mm. It's a creamy coffee cake. It's a creamy coffee cake. A sweetness to it. Just a well-developed taste. I mean, just look at that thing burn. Just look at that. It is just beautiful. Would it be like similar to like a coffee crumb cake? You ever had one of those? Yeah, I have, and it's nothing like that, Dylan. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> had to ask. Yeah, you had to. Yeah, no. Um, but it it is it is a it is a creamy cake, coffee cake, like as strong like. It's so hard to explain. Like, if you were to make a cup of coffee and then the exact flavor without adding too much influence, make it, make a cake out of it to eat. Like, the smoke, everything just has flavor punching into this. It, it's amazing. This is, I am, I am excited for this one. And I hope you guys are too. Come back for the first third. I'll let you know how it progresses. Cafe. I'm basically, I'm so being honest with everyone. This is a dry stick that I purchased today. Um, so my review is going to be a little bit biased off of the taste of a dry stick, and I don't think it's going to be a fair score. It started out fantastic. You guys saw the first first yeah, puff, yeah. cold draw. It was I was in for a ride. I was super excited. And then it just got bitter. It just hit a point where it's just gotten bitter. And I know it's because it's it's dry leaves. That's a good talking point for viewers. When you go and pick up a stick from a local place to buy a stick from, inspect it. Yeah. Feel it. You got to know. It's, they're not. They're supposed to be, but they're not always ready to smoke. Well, and that and 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 that was the thing is I passed it around to Hilton and Dylan because they're more cigar connoisseurs and more knowledgeable on this. And, and both of them said, it's going to be, it's, it's dry. It's dry. But I said, you know what? I purchased it. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give it a smoke. I'm going to try it. I'm excited for it. Again, it started out fantastic. And I know for a fact if it aged and was in a humidifier for at least one, two months, that initial smoke would last all the way through. But as soon as I got 
literally three puffs in, I got a soap flavor, a bitter flavor. Yeah. It's it's kind of ruining it, ruining it, ruining the cigar for me. So, um, mm-hmm. I've been puffing away. I've been puffing away. I feel like I'm gonna throw up, but you know what? It's. Uh, <laughs> But I'm, I'm Do you want me to get that. a coffee for you? Is that a Macanudo or a Backwoods? <laughs> At this point, I would smoke a Backwoods what or a Macanudo. What I would honestly recommend that you do is knock the ash off and That's try and do like thinking. a really hard purge for a good 10 seconds or longer where you see a dragon flame coming out into that. Well, hole. and that's what that I've might been, help a little. That's what I've been doing is doing a, a hard purge and then I puff in for a little bit, get a good flavor, but then I, as soon as I go in for that a That good second, flavor after the purge, what do you get? Uh, I get fruit. It's okay. really interesting. So that's right? what the cigar should so be. So that's what the cigar should be. Exactly. Yeah. 100%. And the yeah. world champion from Brazil recommends, especially once you get to this point in the cigar, you puff, and after you blow out every puff, you purge. Mm. Then you puff, then you purge. Every time. That's what he recommends for the best flavor and experience. And I think where you're at in the cigar being dry might help a little bit. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do with this cigar. So... Viewers, and this is a learning experience not only for me, but for, for potentially you as well at home, um, for drier cigars. It was for me, a lot for of, sure. A lot of everyone, you know. Uh, if you're having a drier cigar and it's just too bitter, it's not an enjoyable experience, suck in, as Dylan's saying, inhale, purge, inhale, purge, just to, just to get that smoke out, purge that cigar of the smoke. So that you get that full flavor experience. Um, So I will say, when I purge, there's a fruit flavor, there's a chocolate flavor. It's super enjoyable. But when you don't purge, it's bitter soap. It's like I just said a bad word in front of my mom and my dad. They said, come over here, and they put a bar of soap in my mouth. Have on? Yeah. So, um, I mean, but I am smoking through it. I'm not a quitter. Even if I end up on the floor dead and they have to drag me out of here, I'm still going to smoke this No man away. left behind. Not at all. I will mention, uh, Hilton is right, though. That cigar does amp up when paired with coffee. So that could also help. Oh, see, and it just spilled on me. A little oh. bit. I don't think it's going to save it, but it'll help. But no, I, 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 don't want, I don't want a coffee right now. I appreciate it. I'm going to power through with my water and ranch water. So... Um, again, first third, basically into the second third, I'm powering through this bad boy, and uh, uh, we'll stay tuned for the rest of the review. In the first third, I have to I have to purge after every every puff, just to get uh, that that flavor that I really want. So, I'll show you my routine. About a 10 second purge. And a two second puff. <clears throat> it's got berry flavor. Berries. Kind of like what you were saying, George. It's well, got really. it's got a berry flavor to it. It's hard it's to me it's a little bit harder to describe just because it does I do have to purge it. But I'm catching like a berry flavor. Like a sweetness to it that's um, that's true it's very it's very enjoyable um so yeah uh berry flavor to it is what i'm getting wow. on the second nice. third see you for the final all right now to the final third again still having to purge after every every puff so purge process and then a puff Still getting that. This is how the cigar should have been throughout the whole the whole time. That sweetness, uh, like a cherry plum almost. Like it's just, it's really enjoyable. It's just, just too bad that uh, you know I had to just smoke on a dry stick today. But you know it's uh, it's part of it's part of smoking cigars. You know you live and you learn. You figure it out as you go. And uh, you make the experiences enjoyable with what uh, what you've been given. Uh, so, having said that, I can't give it the highest score 
that I've, you know, a super high score because of the effort and everything that I have been, you know, been putting into it. But as far as scoring it based off of the initial flavors, the cold draw, the first couple of draws, and then hard purging it, and then taking those puffs, I would give it a solid 91. Wow. Uh, the stick itself that I had because of its dryness and just the, you know, everything that I had to go through, I mean, that experience right there is, you know, in the, you know, like an 82, maybe a 78, 78, 82, somewhere around that, that range. Um, but if you were to have this properly humidified, it's a proper stick that's been properly maintained. It is a, it is a very enjoyable cigar. One that should be paired with a, with a coffee. I think a coffee would really pair well with this. Um, but yeah, so that is my, my review of the Macanado. Macanudo, Macanudo Cafe. Uh, please like and subscribe this video. And then, the, of course, this is always extrapolated from the Puff Drink Talk podcast that I do with my co-host. So if you want to see us talk about uh, various subjects, uh, please head on over and watch those videos as well, as well. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you've had a similar experience with the cigar before and have any other tips and tricks besides hard purging or changing a cut, whatever you did to remedy that situation. Let us know. Thank you.